And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Seven Days to Die. All right, I have uh, now put in a ton of concrete. I didn't really think you guys wanted to hear me do all of that. So, yeah, it's all concreted up in here. Um, ready, ready to dry. Hopefully dry as fast as humanly possible. Uh, and down here on this mid on this second roll, roll roll up, I put a line of steel going all the way around, and then this right here is my weak spot. So obviously that has to dry, and hopefully it dries. Um, let's get some spikes going. Let's get like three hundred crafting because. We're gonna come out here and we're gonna spike up around around here. I want a few layers. There's a hole right there. I can just cover that up really quick. Dun, dun, dun. So, you know, as the days go on, you can clear more and more grass around. And it just helps see the zombies that are coming at you a little bit better. Definitely want to clear out things that will make them jump, namely these. Trees, also a good idea if you have a few trees in the area. Clearing these out really keeps them out of shadow. So when they spawn in, they're not completely shadowed. I know I'm encumbered. Deal with it. There we go. I hate these little bushes, especially. Those things are annoying. They always look like zombies from a distance. I always think there's zombies sitting around. All right, this was a mad dash to try to get this finished in time. I honestly, I honestly had my doubts whether or not it was even possible. All right, let's skim this in here. Too many weeds right up close here. We need to cut these back. There we go. My uh, my lawn care person is on permanent permanent vacation. I think they ate their last customer, so I'm kind of glad that wasn't me. Tato, Tato. Okay. Now for spikies. Spikes. No, not poles. Spikes. Okay, why are you floating? Should not be floating like that. There we go. 
So we're gonna do as many layers around here as we think is best. Get rid of this nest. So each side of this is 19 squares. It's 19 by 19. And that includes the pillars. So if you want to do the math, 19 squares on a side. So this would be, this first layer would be 21 by 21. Uh, and I've forgotten the, the math involved to figure out circumference. Are those like good to go? Some weird, some weird terrain around here. Okay. So two or three layers should should help. I mean, depending on the horde, we we've leveled up quite a bit, so our game stage is really high dangerously high for not having like super amounts of ammo and all that kind of stuff so the other thing I have is some crates that I can put on the main floor What the heck happened there? There we go. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely do a third layer around that, but I wanted to come in here now that some of these are drying. And, and you know, I forgot torches, so <laughs> yeah, forgot torches. But yeah, storage box, let's put in some frames. So, like, back in here, one, you know, anybody who's watched my streams knows my sorting system. Very, very, very nice sorting system. Um, with a frame in the middle. Come on, upgrade, upgrade, there you go. Uh, and then signs in the middle here. That way you don't, you're not clicking on the signs when you're trying to open the box. So, like... Another one here and here. The signs. Uh, this, you know, since this is a ramp here, you could actually pull, you know, a vehicle in here. You could have a mini bike in here. So let's let's keep that open. Just just for that. And back in this wall, I want to keep them off of the walls because the the cops may end up destroying something. So let's go back here. And then uh, one over here, last one over here. We have one there, the sign there, a sign here. And here. So this will be food. This will be meds. This will be treasure. Yeah, and you can you could spend all day like in here. But uh, I like to do like over here, we're gonna do components, and then we're gonna do 
forged metal over on this side. So that gives me, let's get rid of that. That gives me a nice like layout. So, and then something like, let's do building mats and then tools. So building materials is rebar frame. Uh, we can do concrete mix in there. Anything that can be placed. Uh, forged metal. We could have our steel over here. Uh, let's see. Building materials also. Let's see. Concrete pull. Let's do up here. This can get dropped. Egg can go up here potato can go up here so over here we're gonna do wood and then flowers so wood over here flowers chrysanthemum uh, and over here we're gonna do pea fiber seeds and then we're gonna do sand on this side <clears throat> so plant fiber and seeds, plant fiber, pine seed, oak seed, any other seeds that we find. And then back here, this will be our this will be our ammo dump here. So this one down here is going to be rocket, uh, rocket and bows, and this one over here is going to be raw ammo raw ammo it's everything that can be used to make ammo so we have nitrate powder we have feathers we have not iron we have arrowheads uh, let's see hunting rifle those can go there and let's see more raw ammo I want to do a campfire I put campfire right underneath food and then put the cooking pot in that I brought. That'll make that nice. Um, over here, I'm going to have raw iron stone. So stone can go over here. This raw iron can go over here. So we have wood, stone, raw iron. We have all sorts of storages for everything. Um, I want to. I need to keep the guns and stuff on me because it is horde night. Uh, building materials over here. Storage box, wood frame, sign, lead. That's a raw ammo thing. So lead like that. Put that down there. Got some ammo. Got lots of crossbow bolts. I don't really need a candy cave shiv. So I'm going to put that in tools. And then the rest of my time is going to be trying to put in more of these. Oh my goodness, it's starting already. Good lord. only hope this is going to be enough. Let's see if we can go all the way around. So yeah, my game stage, 121. That's crazy. Day 14 horde, that's a pretty high game stage. But I got the quick axe, and that's what makes the difference. Oh. Don't worry, we'll we'll make the we'll make the edge here a lot fancier. So I'm gonna drill through here. I'm gonna drill this out. 
Uh, I must repair it. Oh. Uh, I can actually pick these up. And I can pick these up, I think. I can come up here, jump up to there, jump up to here. And then, like I said, grab grab a few more. And that really, really blanks it out, which is why I like to keep that like it is. You know, I just had a lag spike. I wonder if... Not seeing any Zombonis here. Okay, we gotta get back down to the kill cage. <clears throat> oh, oh. Where was it? Where was it? Back here. Oh, my steel is gone. Oh, give me steel. Uh, forge metal. I need steel. Yes, <laughs> we made it. Now who knows? Keep a, keep a little bit of that steel on me. They do love to to pound on. Pillars, so be careful. And before Horde Night, like I did last time, we're gonna we're gonna ramp up the gamma because I don't have a way to see, and it's really really dark. And yeah, I could just shoot off into the darkness, and people would be like, "What are you shooting at?" I'm like, "Well, the zombies are out there," and so. All right, we got some ammo. I can't get too fancy with the ammo. That's loaded. That's loaded. That's loaded. Crossbow is ready. <clears throat> can't believe we actually we actually got this. Um, we got this built in like five days. That's crazy. I mean, it's not fully it's not fully awesome yet, but we have it we have it leveled up. We have it upgraded to a point where it's it's pretty pretty secure. Obviously with blade traps it would be even better. But that's going to require a lot more digging. <clears throat> yeah, and it requires a lot of blade traps. It's crazy. Like my my original design is something like 16 blade traps. This is twice that. 32 blade traps. It's either 32 or 36. I can't remember which one. All right. Should I should I cut the episode here and 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 end it on a cliffhanger? It'd be a pretty long time. Oh, looks like a wandering horde coming through. Nice. All right. Well, that's going to have to do it for this episode. Yes, I am going to I am going to cut it here. So, I thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.